boys and girls and welcome back to another weekly video it is jd here all right and so this month we have the same question and our question is who is always with you and do you guys remember the answer to that question who is always with you yes god is always with you awesome job guys all right so today we are going to kind of practice our memory verse um but by practicing our memory verse, I'm going to show you pictures and the pictures are going to, um, with, with the pictures, we're going to talk about different situations where we believe that God is always with us. And so our uh, memory verse is we have the Lord, our God to help us. And our motions is we have the Lord, our God to help us. And that is second Chronicles 32, eight. And so again, it's we have the Lord our God to help us. Second Chronicles 8. Awesome job. So when I show you a picture, we're going to talk about it and then we're going to say our memory verse, all right, together. So our first picture. Look at that. It's just some kids. And so all these kids look like they're friends, right? And so we can believe that God will be with us even when we're with our friends. And we can tell our friends, hey, God will always be with us. And so, thinking about our friends and all the other kids that are in our lives, let's do our memory verse. We have the Lord our God to help us. Second Chronicles 32, eight. Awesome job. All right, so let's look at this picture. What do you think this is? It is a mirror, yes. All right, so when you get up in the morning and you are brushing your teeth and getting ready for the day, you look in the mirror, right, to see what you look like. And then when you look in the, when you look in the mirror, I want you to always remember, we have the Lord our God to help us, all right? So always remember that. All right, so we're gonna do our memory verse and our motions again, ready? We have the Lord our God to help us. Second Chronicles 32, eight. Awesome, okay, let's get another one. Here's another one, look. We have a grandmother and a grandfather. And with this, we can tell our grandmother and grandfathers, oh, we just know that the Lord is gonna always be with and help our grandparents, all right? So let's say our memory verse again. Just for our grandparents, right? We have the Lord our God to help us. Second Chronicles 32.8. All right, one more picture. Look at this. It's a family. Look at all that. You have a daughter, a son, a grandfather, maybe mom and dad, all these different people. This is our family. This is always to show you that God is with us and he will help us even with our family, all right? So let's do our memory verse and our motions one last time to always remember that God will help us with our families, all right? We have the Lord our God to help us. Second Chronicles 32, eight. Awesome job, everybody. Now. I always want you guys to remember that God is always with you. And no matter what, he will always help you. All you have to do is ask him. All right? So it was great talking to you guys. And I hope to see you guys next week. All right? Bye-bye. There is nothing, nothing impossible. No, there is nothing, nothing too difficult. Because you're with me, you're with me. I am not afraid. Nothing is too hard for you. With you, I can do very big things. God, with you, I can do very big things. I know it's true. I can do very big things. You're with me. I know it's true.
are with me, I am feeling brave. When you are with me, I am not afraid. God, you are with me, so I can be strong. Cause nothing is too hard for you, no. With you, I can do very big things. God, with you, I can do very big things. I know it's true. I can do very big things. You're with me, I know it's true. I can do big things. I can do it's true. I'm doing daring big things. I can do it. It's true. I'm doing daring. to know what to do. Like, what should I eat for snacks? Or what color marker should I draw with? Or should I wear my flip flops or my rain boots? This thinking hat is so great. I'm gonna wear it everywhere. Ooh, ooh. Hey, it's Holly. Hello, Manny. Hoo, hoo. That's quite the hat. How's it working for you? Hi, Holly. When I spin my thinking hat, I always know just what to do. Making choices isn't easy. That's true. But I know someone wise to help you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Always got a Bible story for me and you. That should do it. <laughs> oh, hola, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. I just finished fixing this gavel for my friend. She's a judge and uses this in her courtroom. She knocks it on her desk when she wants to say something. Or tell people what they should do. <laughs> Speaking of judges, that reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Let's put it on the store fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down now. Now, we just need our story tools. Yup, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a woman named Deborah. Deborah was the leader of all God's people. 
She was their judge. Every day, Deborah would stand under a tree and the people would come to her with their big questions and ask her what to do. Deborah knew God was with her. She trusted God to help her be wise and tell the people the right thing to do. Now, God is always with you too. He can help you be wise and do the right thing. Like when, oh, you and your friend both want to play with the same toy. Hmm. You can be wise and remember that God wants us to love others by sharing. <laughs> or when your brother knocks over your blocks. Well, you can be wise and use kind words instead of yelling at him. <laughs> or when you see someone get hurt, you can be wise and remember that God wants us to help people. God was with Deborah and helped her be wise. God is always with you and can help you be wise and do the right thing too. <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. God helped Deborah be wise, and he can help us be wise too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, God helped Deborah to be wise and know what to do. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you didn't say got it, you get it? Got it! Good! My thinking hat is fun to wear, but I know I have God to help me make wise choices. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! The Lord our God to help us. 2 Chronicles 32 8. We have the Lord our God to help us. 2 Chronicles 32 8.